you want to talk about a fighter who checks all the boxes, DC, here is the UFC featherweight king, your right-hand man, Max Blessing. The Blessed Express <laughs> is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway and his preparation, to a lion to his soul, and it shows in the toughness that he exhibits when he steps into the office. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer, BJ oh. Penn. Max blessed Holloway. Few guys are gonna be able to match the cardio. You mentioned the pace and the pressure. All lies on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. Max Holloway is ready to engage yet again. So here he is, one of the biggest superstars in mixed martial arts today, former EA Sports cover boy, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Man, though, that BMF title fight feels like a long time ago. What does Gamebred have to do to get on track here tonight? He's got to get a victory, right? That, that fight against Nate Diaz was the fight that truly pushed him through the roof. But then it was setback after setback. He has to make adjustments if he wants to win the fight tonight. He's got to use his tremendous boxing and his great takedown defense to allow for him to earn a victory. That's the most important thing right now for Jorge Masvidal. Yeah, he's got a lot of jiu-jitsu skills as well, but ultimately he wants to keep this fight on the feet and showcase his striking skills. Figures to have a pretty significant advantage in that area in this matchup tonight. Jorge Masvidal set to fight Max Blessed Holloway. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world. With respect to anywhere else you want to go, if I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to go. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. All right, so the hands were working well. Now Masvidal choosing to kick it and finding success in that world, too. I've seen this in strike force. Jorge Masvidal has everything at his disposal. He has every ability that you need in order to become a UFC champion. And right now he looks like he's having a performance that may lead him to that title shot. Oh, effective use of the jab by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab and you expected at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the octagon. Let's go, let's get the oh my goodness, what a kick! Nice. Three minutes. Well, you saw us reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. 
Throwing that low kick. Straight right is there. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind him. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four or five, six in a row. What a great job. Game Brett gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, Masvidal a real flow here, sticking and moving. The crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. You think you got him trapped to try to hit the four takedown, he evades and escapes. He's a phenomenal fighter. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Gamebrick. Five minutes in the books. Protect your face, protect your face. He has no stand up. Left, right, hooks. Give me that combination, man. Listen. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, here we go with the start of our Ready second round. Jorge, Ready. game bred, Masvidal, Ready. and Max Blessed Hollow. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh! Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already, and DC, I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook, because off the left hook, don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Masvidal's shot is blocked. Well, if you are a young striker, you can... Both tough. Both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Went for the inside leg kick. He has to evade stay at space. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Trying the flying knee there. Holloway's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed. Big combination. So once again, beating on that. Back to his feet. Holloway's shot is blocked. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. And now a head kick to boot. Seconds to go in round two. 
beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked fast. Leads with a power right hand there, DC. That'll work. Really sat down with that right hand. Oh, nice combination. Holloway's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Back to his feet. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Both fighters throwing heat now. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big right hand. Ooh. Oh, big, big shots here. Holloway's in half guard now. Making all these shots count. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Oh, in the ball! I need you to move! Scramble! 90 seconds to go in the round. Guard. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy. Hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it's... Oh! Huge right hand! shot just before the end of the round so now he goes back to the stool wobbly a little bit we'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight all right so there's the end of the round he stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. it was accumulation of those strikes he kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Four. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. I mean, what else can you... Oh! <laughs> he 
Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? In the half guard. Holloway gets up. He is back on the feet here. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Great job fighting behind the limb. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Masvidal's taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strong. Oh! Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Game Red Masvidal. Game Red, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. Jorge Masvidal, your winner by knockout. You know about the boxing man, when his hands are going, a lot of the guys in this division just can't keep up. Well, he's one of the best pure boxers that we have in the UFC. His ability to set up his strikes and know when to throw what is like nothing we've seen. This guy is, is, a, is a fantastic fighter. We saw him fight in backyards. Of course, he'll fight the octagon. Now he gets to knock off the... All right, congratulations to Jorge Gamebred Masvidal adding to his highlight reel with a big knockout here tonight.